the game ended in the fifth inning, and Corpus scored two runs. And how many did the Casota score? Six. And was that all, all together when you said together? Five, two, six. Unbelievable, right? Unbelievable, right? Well, let's see. Let's see exactly who we got in the house last night. I'm going to do a little bit of a shout out here and see if I can figure out who's the loudest consultants here at Anger Energy. Joel, Seth, and I were at the Sheraton uh, up until about 15, 20 minutes ago, and the consultants from Texas got beat by New York. <laughs> so, you know, do what you want, but I think you need to really, like, give us some, because I want to hear, I'm grading you. This all goes down. I'm, I'm, we've got, like, special VIPs here in the audience tonight that are taking notes to make sure we're enthusiastic. Okay? So let's, let's, start, uh, let's start on the West Coast with our new say, Is there anybody here from California? Yeah, I see three people over there. That's good. Okay. Um, oh, here too. Uh, how about uh, Illinois? Okay, here's a good question for you. Is there anybody here from Illinois who's Polish? There's always one. There's always one. Okay, how about, uh, let's uh, work our way up. How about uh, Maryland? Now, I've got to tell you, I was a little disappointed when I did this at the, at the Sheraton, uh, when I said, is there anybody from D.C.? Is there anyone from D.C.? One person? One person? Oh, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we had nobody from D.C. in the last one. So how about, uh, uh, let's see, D.C., uh, Pennsylvania? It must have been a group of people from Pennsylvania, that's all I can say. It must have been a group of Now let's, let's move our way a little bit to uh, eastwards. Uh, how about New York? Yeah. Now, that's the whole of New York State. Now, how about New York City? The five boroughs. Anybody from the five boroughs? Okay, now, how about, I used to live in Brooklyn. The Bronx, baby! So, is there anybody from Brooklyn? Yeah? Anybody from Red Hook? Red Hook? Okay, I'll get a ride home tonight. That's good. That's good. Okay. Uh, let's see now. Uh, there's that little state that's just below New York. What are they called? What are they called? Delaware! New Jersey? Is New Jersey in the house? Yep. Yeah, yep, yeah, I can see the hair gel, the waxed eyebrows. Yep, yeah, New Jersey's in the house. Fist bump, fist bump, fist bump, fist bump. We ready? Yeah, Jersey's in the house. Yeah, come on. Oh, yeah, Jersey Shore's got nothing on Abbott. Okay. Uh, how about, uh, let's, let's go a little bit further north. How about uh, Connecticut? Connecticut, a whole table over there. Wow. Joel, that's why there was only one person at the Sheridan, but all of the other people from Connecticut are sitting at that table. <laughs> really? Well, you know what? Uh, Massachusetts? Well, you know what? You guys are phenomenal. And finally, last but not least, how about Texas? job is just about done because I'm only here to introduce one of the most, what? Where? Buffalo, that's not a state, go sit here. It's not a state, it's Buffalo a state. No, I'm saying, seriously, it's not like Philadelphia's a state, but you know, what should I say? Philadelphia's in a state. It's another matter. Maybe DC is, I don't know. But anyway, I, I'm, now we're done roll call, let me introduce your host? My host. Let me introduce somebody that I've got to know very well in the last 15-20 minutes. Okay, we, we rode over here in a car, it was really wonderful, we reminisced, we exchanged numbers, uh, we had a lot of fun. Um, his name's Joel Seth, it's Joel Seth, and he's a, a phenomenal, phenomenal author. Um, he, please do check out his, his book when you get the opportunity. Go to joelseth.com and check him out there too. He's renowned worldwide for being a motivational comedian and, and a personality extraordinaire. Okay? So, you've had enough from me. It's time to get this show rocking. Welcome to the stage, Mr. Joel Zeff.
the stage. <laughs> Holy cow! It's a buck ninety-nine stage right here. Hey, Ammon Energy, how are we doing? <laughs> we just we just did this exact same show over at the Sheridan at Rock. We had a blast, and I'm looking forward to having a great time with you guys. Here's the goal tonight. We're gonna have fun. We deserve it. We work very hard, right? Yeah. All right, most of us work very hard, right? Now to do that though, we have to create a certain kind of energy. I know it's late, you guys have been learning uh, high-powered information all night, all day. We need to create a certain kind of energy. Turn me down just a little bit, my man. All right, we need a certain kind of energy. How many of you have a three or four-year-old child at home? Raise your hand. How many, have a, yeah. How many people have seen a three or four-year-old child sometime in their life? You didn't go either way on this one. No, you're just gonna sit up front and just do mm, your thought. <laughs> you got your little little black mock turtleneck on and man, 1993 was awesome, wasn't it? It was awesome. It was awesome. You're not in charge, are you? You're not like the head CEO. Crap. Alright. Here's here's a who else who uh, who has a three or four year old at home right now? Right? Yes, no, no. yes sir. You got one? Boy or girl? Yes, boy or girl? That was the question. Boy or girl? Boy or girl. A girl. What's her name? These are hard questions. What's her name? Sophia. You know, I almost named my daughter Sophia. We went with Isabella, but that was my second choice. That's an awesome name. I bet Sophia, every time she does something she's real proud of, big ta-da, right? When you're three and four, everything in your life is a ta-da. You can't wait to tell someone, look what I did, right? Do, do something with the toys, a drawing, can't wait to show mom or dad. And then we get older, we don't give ourselves a ta-da anymore, right? And I bet when Sophia, when she was a little younger, when she went to the bathroom by herself for the first time, big ta-da, right? When was the last time we went to the bathroom by ourselves, walked out, with ta -da! You're just excited things are working. Maybe not. 
not so much. <laughs> so, well, but I just want to give you a couple choices. Nothing big, just a couple. I know it's late. But the most part, we're going to have fun. Now, my background, uh, Wayne can talk to you a little bit. I started as a journalist. I was a newspaper reporter. And then I went into advertising, PR, and marketing. Worked for a couple agencies. Back in 93, I started doing improv comedy at a theater in downtown Dallas, not too far from here. And I had these totally two different worlds. Improv comedy world, corporate marketing world. This is where I met girls here in this here. This is how I got married here. Not so much here, but here. So I found a way to combine the two, and that's what I do today, speak to groups like yourself. So we're gonna have some fun, play a couple improv games. Look and just talk about a couple choices. Nothing too big. No, no hard learning tonight. We're gonna take some risks. But you guys are risk takers, man. We had an awesome time at the Sheridan. We're gonna take one risk as a group. Get it out of the way. So when everybody put their hands up like this, everybody put your. You're awesome. Dude. All right, everybody together say money, money, money. Turn to the person to your right or left. Look them right in the eye. Go money, money, money. Turn to the person on the other side. Give me old money, money, money. You know what? We all look foolish. We all look silly. Right? You guys wouldn't walk out of here and just walk up to people at the hotel and go, hey, how you doing, buddy, buddy, buddy? Are you from Ammon Energy? But we all did it together. And that's what I want you to remember. We supported each other. The change was hard, it was a risk, but we did it together. We supported each other, so it made it easier. Easier to put yourself out there, easier to try something new. And that's what I want you to think about, that spirit of the bunny, 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 as we play a couple of these improv games, okay? All right, let's get going, we're on a roll. And uh, you guys rock, thanks to the AV, they, they, they made it run right here, right here. You guys don't even know. Uh, I need three volunteers to help me out. Thank you. You're going to pick 
first, David? Excited, sad, fear, angry. or angry? Which one do you like? We're all excited. Excited? <laughs> angry, sad, or fear? Angry, sad, or fear? Sad, angry, or fear? I'll take angry. Okay. Leaves me with fear. All that one coming a mile away. <laughs> you guys are hitchhikers. You come over here. It's a hitchhiker staging area today. Thank you. <laughs> Why? I'm, where are you going? I'm going to a big ambient energy meeting. Should I bring socks? Nope. <laughs> So uh, back up just a hair, dude. So David, I want you're gonna be. Uh, you chose excited. I want to see and hear that excitement. You're driving. You're excited about other drivers talking about where you're going. You're excited. All of a sudden, you see me hitchhiking. You stop the car. I come in. I bring in scared. Now both of us are scared. Whatever that means. We're both scared. Travel the ways. We see our next hitchhiker. It's Marsha. She comes in. Marsha, right? That's okay. You come in. You are fat. All three of us are sad. Whatever that means, we're all sad. Driving away, we see our final hitchhiker. He's angry. All four of us are angry. Okay? You're in control. Stop the car. You kick angry out. We're back to just put it back in park. <laughs> I love the initiative. I do, David. I love it. We're back to Marsha. We're back to Marsha, and her emotion is? Yeah. Kick her out. You're back to me, and I am? Yeah. Kick me out. You're back to our star, and he is? Dude, it's like 10 o'clock at night, they're already top of the game. We got a smart crew here, right? If they already know the order, we should have figured it out, okay? <laughs> we're going to Washington, D.C. Gives us something to talk about, why we're going, what we're going to do there. Just a reason to talk. Give my team a big round of applause. <laughs> you guys ready? You guys ready? All right. David, you're driving. You're excited. And uh, kind of lean into those microphones just so we can all hear you. There you go. You're excited. <laughs>
watermelon color pants. <laughs>
There's going to be an outline on the website. <laughs> so, I'm not in control of the volume, man. So, opportunity and positive support. And when you put those two things together, it's amazing what, can, what people can accomplish. It really is. Opportunity and positive support. And that's what we all want. But here's the deal. We don't get enough of those two things. That's the choice I, wanna, I want you to make. Every day when you go home, or if you're at home, every day when you finish, think about all the people that deserve positive support. Your customers, your team, other, uh, other consultants, people that help you, uh, partners, vendors, everybody. Did you say thank you and I appreciate you and you did a great job? We forget. Guess what? There's no expiration date on a thank you. You can tell them a month later. Tomorrow, send them a note. Call them up. See them. Say, hey, I forgot. Thank you. Thanks for introducing me to that one person. Or thanks for helping me out and giving me that little advice to make me a better consultant. Or give me, thank you for wearing watermelon pants. <laughs> surprised twice, once by your answer, what your opportunity is. It's not more money. We all want more money, but that happiness only lasts for the next paycheck, and you're right back where you started. You want something else. Do you want more independence? Do you want more uh, leadership, more responsibility? you want to be creative? What do you want? And you'll answer that question. And then you'll be surprised when you tell somebody and how easy it is to get that opportunity. Because people want you to be successful. They want to help you. Because it's going to help them be successful. Opportunity and positive support. And when you put those two things together, perfect timing. Thank you, sir. And, and if, if you couldn't actually kill me with your pinky, I would say something right now. long time and the thing I know is the big huge dude with the biceps as big as my thighs with tattoos down to his, ankle, his wrist, you don't say anything to him. <laughs> if that dude wants to know, you're like, hell yeah. <laughs> you are absolutely right. <laughs> you, I'll talk to you all day. <laughs> I could take you any day, but that Harley Davidson, I'll rip these shirts off. <laughs> Me no need sleep.